So I am challenging you to make ten thousand dollars before twenty twenty five. Now, if we break it down, you would only need to get ten customers for one thousand dollars each, or five customers for two thousand dollars each, to complete the challenge successfully. And my goal with this video is to share with you everything you need to make your first ten thousand dollars online before twenty twenty five. If we haven't met before, my name is Fred, and I'm an entrepreneur from a lower middle class background. I went from having only four hundred dollars in my bank account over four years ago to making over a thousand dollars in a single day at only 21 years old selling services and digital products. And I also went from being socially anxious to the point I couldn't even go outside for a walk to generating over 36.7 million views on social media in the span of six months and starting with no audience. Have you ever heard of Parkinson's law? Parkinson's law states that work expands so as to fill the time allotted for its completion. What this means in simple English is that the longer you allow yourself to complete a task or a project, the longer it's going to take. Just think back to your school days. Chances are, if a professor gave you an assignment that was due in a month, if you're honest with yourself, you probably started working on it at the last minute. I know I did. So by setting clear deadlines, you essentially remove all the fluff and make sure you get things done faster. And that is exactly why I am challenging you to make your first $10,000 online before January 1st, 2025. A lot of people get so fixated on the money that they forget there is something which is so much more valuable than money. Time. People are okay with spending three hours of their lives trying to find coupons or promotional codes online, but they don't realize that the real treasure is the time that they have. You can always make more money, but once your time is gone, it's gone forever. Wealthy people understand that, and that's why they don't spend any time doing the cooking, the cleaning, or other chores. And by setting an ambitious goal, what happens is that even if you fail to reach that goal, you will still end up further ahead than if you simply set a smaller goal in the first place. Why? Because a bigger goal requires more hard work, more sacrifice, and more resources compared to a small goal. Now in life, the truth is, no one controls everything. You do not control the outputs, aka the results that you get. However, you control the inputs, aka the things that you do. Some people gain muscle more easily than others. You don't control your body's capacity to gain muscle naturally. However, you are in control of what you do, of the way that you train, eat, and recover. When you reach out to potential customers, you can't guarantee that they will answer. However, if you don't even try contacting them, you guarantee that you'll get no answers. I think it's great to set big goals and to plan for the future, but the best way to actually reach your goals is to focus on the small daily actions. Empires are built brick by brick, day by day. So set big goals, know what you want, and then ask yourself, what would make it completely unreasonable for me not to get what I want? And then devise a clever strategy that makes it completely unlikely for you to fail. If you reached out to a hundred thousand potential customers, do you really think you wouldn't at least sign a couple customers? If you posted a hundred thousand pieces of content, do you really think that one of your videos wouldn't take off? If you wrote a thousand books, do you really think that at least one of them wouldn't get some sort of success? Most people are afraid of failure, but the irony is they won't even get started. Try doing something an unreasonable amount of times, and then let's see if you're still afraid of failure. Now, what would you need to do to guarantee failure? Don't take action and wait for time to pass. That's what a lot of people do. And then they get angry and they complain when they don't have the things that they want in life. And then let the fear of failure prevent you from taking action, when in reality, if you don't even start, you guarantee that you will fail 100%. And then think that you know everything and that you can stop learning. If you do that, believe me, you will get wiped out very quickly, no matter how successful you are. Not all empires last. Big companies like Blockbuster, they didn't adapt to a changing market and so they lost everything. That's why you can never become complacent. Always strive to do better because if you don't, somebody else will. Or work on the actions that don't actually matter. And what I mean by that is that a lot of people, they think they're being productive when in reality, when they're working, they have their phone next to them, bombarding them with notifications. And on top of that, instead of focusing on the difficult, important tasks they need to complete, they go and do easier tasks. So then logically, the way to guarantee success is by doing the opposite of these things. You essentially guarantee success by taking massive action, by forcing yourself out of your comfort zone every day, embracing the unknown, by keeping an open mind and being a lifelong student, and by focusing on the things that actually move the needle forward. Remember, everything that you want is on the other side of the boring work you're avoiding. I want you to remember this quote, producers make money, consumers spend money. Why is a jobless person broke? Because they're not providing any value to society. Why are most students broke? Because they're not actively providing any value yet, but they are learning the skills that will later on allow them to provide value to society and get paid in exchange. Billionaires make a lot of money because they impact billions of lives in one way or another. The biggest impact on the most amount of people you have, the wealthier you will become, I can guarantee it. Why do football players and 
and basketball stars make so much money. Some people might say it's unfair. Michael Jordan is worth 3.5 billion US dollars. Cristiano Ronaldo has a net worth of approximately 800 million dollars. The reason they make so much money is because they provide some form of value to billions of people. If you want to make more money, you need to shift from solely being a consumer to being a producer, a creator. How many potential clients did you reach out to today? How many sales meetings did you conduct? How many pieces of content did you publish today? If you want people to pay you, you've got to give them a solid enough reason to part with the money they've worked so hard to earn. We are all consumers and there's nothing wrong with consuming. In fact, we need to consume just to be alive. We need a bed to sleep in, food to eat, water to drink, clothes to wear. But producers make the money while consumers spend it. When you're just getting started in business, the truth is you have no clue what you're doing because you lack experience. And that's okay. We've all been there, myself included. But the issue is, if you pick a business model that requires you to pay money every time you make a mistake, as a beginner, you are pretty much guaranteed to go bankrupt very quickly and to not be able to sustain that business for long. That's exactly what happened to me over four or five years ago. Back in 2019, 2020, with a friend of mine, we decided to do dropshipping with Facebook advertising. The problem is that at the time, we were both broke students. So we had to stop that business pretty quickly because we couldn't afford to lose hundreds of dollars per day on advertising. Instead, when you're a beginner in business, you want to find a business that allows you to get customers for free. That way, even if you make mistakes and you screw everything up, you never run the risk of losing your life savings. Now, if you want to hear my full story, how I went from struggling financially to generating upwards of $1,094 in a single day at only 21 years old, as well as the step-by-step -step process I used to make this happen, I've recorded a free video that explains everything. And in that same video, I'm also going to share with you the two best paths to $5,000 and $10,000 per month in 2024 and beyond. The link will be in the description below. Look, I'll be completely honest with you. There has never been a better time to be alive than right now. Nowadays, we have cars and planes. Back then, a trip to another city would have taken you months, even years. Nowadays, we have phones and social media. You can stay in touch with your loved ones easily. We've never had as many opportunities as in today's world. Nowadays, some 20-year-olds make more money in a month than what doctors make in a year. That's insane. But the paradox is, it's never been easier to win and to become successful than in today's day and age, but at the same time, it's never been more difficult to win. Why? Because even though nowadays we have many unprecedented opportunities at our fingertips, we are also surrounded by distractions. Netflix's algorithm recommends you shows and movies based on what you've watched and enjoyed recently. Social media algorithms do the same. Nowadays, it's harder to get in shape because you can get your favorite restaurant or fast food delivered straight to your door. All it takes is a few clicks on a mobile phone. Something I often say is that the shorter the time frame, the harder the intensity. If you want to reach your goals faster, whether that be becoming financially free, seeing your six-pack apps for the first time in your life, or learning a new language, you will need to work harder. Oftentimes, we could reach our goals faster or get things done faster, but we waste a lot of time on unimportant things, and so it takes us longer than necessary for us to reach our desired destination. The best thing that you can do is take the next 90 days and focus exclusively on your goals. You remove all distractions and you go hard. Make a list of all the things you need to avoid and all the things that you absolutely need to do to reach your goals. And then eliminate all of the things that don't help you to move forward. By doing this, you will see that in only three short months, you will most likely surpass the initial expectations you set for yourself. Currently, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm about 5 a.m. every day, even on the weekends, and I work 13 hours a day. If you had told me two years ago I would be doing this, I wouldn't have believed you. I would have laughed. I couldn't focus for 45 minutes two years ago. But I have big goals, and I know if I don't work as hard as I can, I will be the only one to blame for not having what I want. Working hard doesn't guarantee that you will get what you want, that you will become successful. But what it does is influence the odds in your favor. And it's my personal belief that at some point, when you have sacrificed so much, you've worked so hard for years, you will become successful. You will get what you want. Your hard work will always end up paying off. Now, it's great to work hard, but let's be honest. Life isn't all about waking up at 5 and pulling 13-hour workdays 7 days a week forever. I don't plan on doing this for the rest of my life. My life philosophy is this. Work hard, play hard. The reason I work so hard is because I want to be able to enjoy life in a way that most people will never be able to. The reason I'm up so early every single morning is because I have things to do and I have people who count on me. And so if I decide to stay in bed to procrastinate on the boring work I need to do, I'm not only letting myself down, but I'm letting down the people that I love because they're counting on me. And what I've found from experience is that oftentimes we have no problem with letting ourselves down. Let's say we promised we were going to go to the gym, but then when the time comes, we hit the snooze button and we go back to 
sleep. We tell ourselves a small lie. I'll just go tomorrow. It's okay if I skip the gym for today. But if someone that we love is involved in that equation, all of a sudden, it forces us to become disciplined because we don't want to let them down. So work hard for sure, but don't forget to enjoy the process and to have fun too. That being said, if you found this video helpful, share it with a friend and together, let's blow up this YouTube channel and empower individuals across the globe to become financially free.